What's up everybody, this is Montana DeLeon here and the lipstick I have on with this rainbow colored eye is called Real Sexy and this is from the new collection that came out with MAC um, like April 5th. Alright, so this is going to be a quick haul and then a quick little tutorial about making YouTube videos if you want to be a YouTube guru. Someone also asked me to um, uh, uh, compare Heron with the new lipstick Heron with Rebel from MAC and that's heroin and that's Rebel. This is a, a 99 cent lipstick that I got from Sally Girl. That one right there. This is another 99 cent lipstick. That one right there up top. And this one here at the bottom. And these all don't have names but they have numbers like 388353. But if you go in Sally Girl, in Sally's Beauty Supply, you'll see um, the different lipsticks for 99 cent near the register. So again, that's Rebel, that's Heroin by um, MAC, and that's the Sally Girl 99 cent one, but that's the difference between Rebel and Heroin. So if you see Rebel is deeper, richer. Heroin is fuchsia, deep fuchsia with a blue undertone. So that's the difference between those two. And then I got three lips, um, I'm sorry, China Glaze nail polishes. One, the first one is in Prism, Flip Flop Fantasies, which I mentioned before when I told you guys I got my nails done in Shocking Pink Neon. In that order, they match with my lipstick. In that order, here they are swatched. So that's Prism, Flip Flop, uh, Flip Flop Fantasy, and um, Shockingly Pink. Those are the colors. So that was my small haul from Sally Beauty Supply. I also got some bleach, some developer, and some um, hair color because I'm about to dye one of my wigs that I made. Because I think I'm about to go blonde and then maybe red for different wig looks whenever I take the sewing out of my head. Then I just wanted to tell you guys about this. It's also from Sally's Beauty Supply. It's called Beyond the Zone. Turn up the heat, flat iron protection. My oldest daughter uses this on her hair, and she's natural. She has really, really thick hair, and she absolutely loves this. I'll do her sewing. She likes straight hair with a little bit of hair left out, and this girl got natural hair, but she likes straight weave, straight sewing with a part to the side and a bang. Um, so I'll do that sewing for her, and on her leave out, she'll put this on, and then she'll use the FHI flat iron to flat iron her hair, and it'll stay straight and silky for about three days, she said. So, um... I love that stuff. That was the first time I used it and I gave it to her because she wanted it. So on to making YouTube videos. Got a question and I keep getting questions. Montana, how do I make YouTube videos? Like, how do I get started? Number one, don't be shy. Do not be shy. Get in front of the camera and talk to this camera like it's your friend girl, like a girlfriend or whomever. Talk to the camera like your friend, like it's your friend. Don't be scared. Have tough skin because people will bother you with the comments that they leave behind. It's all type of people out there behind a computer. They're going to be disliking your videos, talking smack, all type of stuff. They ain't got no picture in their profile. But they're going to talk a lot of smack behind the computer. And you have to be able to brush it off or deal with it. So be able to take criticism very well. Learn from the criticism. If there's something that they tell you um, that may help you if you work on it in the future, take the criticism well. If there's something they just being flat out mean, child, just, you know, let it roll off your back. But there's going to be a lot of personalities coming at you, very sensitive people. Oh, well, you sound like you got an attitude. How do I sound like I have an attitude? I didn't put any exclamation points. I didn't put anything in the comment. You're reading text. And you know what I'm saying? Like, you're going to be dealing with a lot of different personalities. Okay. Get very good lighting. Very good quality camera that shows you clearly have a wonderful personality. Um, you have to have some kind of video editing. Um video editing software, video editing program. I personally use iMovie that came with the MacBook. I know people use Windows Movie Maker on PCs. You can have download Final Cut Pro and learn how to self-teach or take classes on editing videos to make them a little more fun to watch. Great personality. People love to watch fun personalities. I come on camera 35% mm, of the time with no makeup on, my hair not done, just looking busted. And I do suggest that make more videos where you're made up, you look bright, happy, you look presentable, and just the whole presentation is presentable. You know what I'm saying? Like how they do these uh, 
King magazines, Black Men magazines, they airbrush the girls to make them look perfectly beautiful, everything. I got this accessories on and all that good stuff. They make it look presentable and, you know, fun to look at. So the more presentable you are when you do your videos, the more fun it is. After you've, on YouTube, after you've been on YouTube for a while, people are used to you, you can go ahead and do the no makeup thing or whatever. Um, or just hair not done, hair tied back in a bonnet because after a while they should be able to connect with you and like, girl, that's, that's my home girl. Make sure you pick a username. <clears throat> It's very, very easy to remember. So if your username is Bonquisha25439 Redbone from around the way 333, not going to be very easy to remember because I'm trying to tell my homegirl, oh my God, you got to watch that girl video, Bonquisha33548 from around the way 333. She's going to get home and she's not going to remember what it is. So it's best to, you know, have a really simple, memorable, or easy to remember YouTube name like Bobo333 or Bobo3. You know what I'm saying? Like, or not even, don't even put a number in there. If it's, it's possible not to put a number in there, don't put a number in there. We have to make it something real simple like 123 or Bobo000. You know, whatever. Just make it really, really simple and easy to remember or make up Guru for you, whatever. Um, another thing is how to make a YouTube partner, meaning how to uh, make money with YouTube. You have to apply for partnerships. So do your research. Just put in the search engine how to apply for YouTube partnership and it'll send you, you know, give you information how to apply for YouTube partnership. And how you apply for YouTube partnership is you have to um, follow their guidelines or whatever they uh, suggest that you do in order to get paid from YouTube. It's really Google that's paying you AdSense. But um, they have a couple of suggestions. They want you to have a couple of, you know, I don't know how many followers you have to have, how many videos you have to have up. Um, no copywritten music and stuff like that in your videos. No like clips from stuff that's copywritten by other people or produced by other people. They don't want none of that in your videos. In order for you to apply for partnership and get approved, um, they are there are websites that provide music that's royalty free, meaning you can't. They don't make money off of. It. They just make it just to. It's not copywritten or anything like that. It's, made just for you to put in your YouTube videos or promote wherever you want to promote as long as you mention this is the site where you got it from, this is where the music came from. Um, that's their rule for using the music and if you state that with YouTube that they'll allow you to use that. So you just do a search for royalty free music um, in Google and let me see if there's anything else that I need to. If I forget anything I'll put it down below in the uh, what you call that thingamajig? What do you call it? In the description box below. If I forget anything, I want to put the um, information in the description box below. If I forgot anything, you guys, um, please remind me and uh, put it in the comment section. I'll try to add it to the description box. How do you become popular on YouTube and have like hundreds of thousands of followers, like hundreds of thousands of subscribers, like some of these girls do? I don't know how they get the word out. <coughs> Probably by putting it on different beauty blogs, they'll put their videos on there or on their own personal Facebook to their already current following or they'll tweet it out. Things like that will get your channel name out there. Also, if you have really, really good content, really, really good material, you're speaking clearly where they can hear you, you're showing the products, watching the products, people love that type of stuff. What do you YouTube about? YouTube about what you know about. YouTube about hair, if you do really good hair. YouTube about makeup, if you do really good makeup. Um, YouTube about cooking, if you cook very well. YouTube about crocheting. YouTube about painting walls. Whatever you want to YouTube about that you know that people will be interested in and that you know that you have knowledge on or you're really good at, YouTube about that. It can be sewing, clothes, making clothes, anything like that. Go ahead and YouTube about what you know about. Um, <coughs> Here on my channel, I do random stuff. I just do everything. Like I'm into everything. Like that's just me. I'm a guru. I'm just trying to get everything down pat. That is just how my channel is. People have been telling me that um, I did ask should I make different channels for different topics, and everybody was like, Nah, like everything is good conveniently right here. If I don't want to see a certain video, I'll just click off. <clears throat> I'm speaking really fast now. I'm sorry because my brain be working really, really fast, and I try to get it out of my mouth really, really fast. But um, <coughs> I'm still a little under the weather too, I'm sorry. But yeah, if you have any more questions, concerns, put them in the bottom bar and I'll try and answer them for you. Love some.